In this video, we will see how to design an app bar for Metro Style apps written in XAML in Blend for Visual Studio. We will try to design an app bar which is similar to the one in the Music app available in the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. On a right click, the app bar pops up in the Music app. There is the Next, Play, Previous and Repeat buttons on the right and the Feedback button on the left. We will now use Blend for Visual Studio to design a similar app bar. For the purposes of this demo, we will use the blank application template. If you observe the objects and timeline panel, you can see the elements in the blank page.xaml. You can also see two child nodes under page class called the bottom app bar and the top app bar. The bottom app bar and the top app bar are dependency properties of the page class. The recommended approach in XAML is to place app bars in these dependency properties. The runtime will then take care of rendering the app bar as well as showing as well as hiding app bars correctly on gestures like the edgy and the right click. I will now search for the app bar control in the assets panel in Blend. I'm going to drag drop the app bar control into the bottom app bar dependency property of the page class. You can now see that the app bar is now rendered in the designer. The app bar, when inserted from the assets panel, contains a grid and two stack panels. The area of the app bar is equally divided among the stack panels. We expect this to be a very common layout pattern that will be used by Metro style app developers while designing app bars. You might have also noticed there are a bunch of app bar button styles that are available. These styles are packaged as part of the templates in the standard styles.xaml. We will now try to add the play, repeat, skip ahead and skip back buttons to the right stack panel. I'll select the right stack panel and change the horizontal alignment to right so that I can lay down elements from right to left. You can see that the skip ahead, skip back and play buttons are available as part of the template itself. I will now add the skip app bar button style. I will then add the play app bar button style. Then I'll add the skip ahead app bar button style. But we do not have the repeat button style available as part of the template. So what we can do now is basically add any app bar button style to the stack panel. Let's add the favorite app bar button style. I will now select the favorite app bar button style, go to the object menu, do edit style, edit a copy, and call this repeat app bar button style. Let's check the sample of the style. You can see that there are two properties that are interest to us, the name and the content. We will now change the name to repeat. And if you observe, all the concepts in these app bar buttons are a part of the Sego UI symbol font. We will now open control panel search for the font category and use the character picker to pick the concept that we want for the repeat button. I will select this character and press copy. We will now go back to blend and replace the content here with the value we have copied. You can now see that the repeat button, app bar button is now complete. We will scope back up, select all four buttons, right click and do a reset layout. This will remove all the unnecessary layout properties that were added to the button when we added that to the stack panel. We will now repeat similar steps to actually design the feedback button. 
we will add a favorite app bar button object edit style edit a copy we'll call this style feedback app bar button style hit ok change the name to feedback go back to the character finder the concept that defines the feedback is a smiley face with a circle copy the character come back to blend and paste it in content as you can see we have now completed the design for the feedback button let's go back up right click reset layout we have now completed the laying down of the app bar buttons in the app bar we now need to modify the order of the buttons and change the color of the app bar background I will select the repeat button and move it such that it is the first element in the stack panel I will select the app bar and change its background to a shade of gray which is similar to the app bar of the music app now the app bar looks very similar to the one that we have seen in the music app that's it it's that easy to design an app bar in blend for visual studio